Hi and welcome to another tutorial of VB.net. In this tutorial we're going to learn how you can pass an array as a parameter to a function so, or a procedure. So we have created a couple of arrays, they're parallel arrays, an array of phone numbers, an array of friends. And we're calling display friends. We're passing friend names into friends and friend phones into phones. The parameters, if they are of arrays, they must be followed by parentheses. And now I am formatting the phone number. So I'm taking this 10 digit phone number and extracting the first three digits, then the next three digits, and the next three digits. The first three digits will going to be in parentheses. The next three digits will going to be outside, followed by a hyphen and the remaining four digits. So this is how we do it by using the substring function, which is a built-in function of a string. So here, starting from the zeroth location in the string, we extract the three. So zeroth location is the first digit. So that will going to help me extract the first three. Then I'm going to close the parentheses. Then I'm going to extract from three. Three means the fourth digit, because starting from zero, this will be the fourth digit. So from the fourth digit, the next three. And then six is actually the seventh digit. So from the seventh digit, the next four. So this is how I'm extracting and building it. And then I'm displaying it in columns. So this is another way of displaying the output. So you can have containers or placeholders. Zero, one, two. Those numbers represent the sequence of the values that are going to be placed in these containers. And 1, 15, and, tw and 10 represents the size of the column. And negative represents it is left aligned, and positive represents it is right aligned. So I'm displaying in the first placeholder the counter. So it'll going to be a number dot, followed by a name of the person in the next 15, and finally in the last 10, the phone number. So this is how actually the output comes out. So when I say 15, Whatever number of placeholders the name can fill in and fills in, and the remaining ones, and the remaining ones, it can actually get filled with these spaces. So that's how it goes about uh, working uh, with formatting the columns. So anyway, um, hope to catch you in the next tutorial. Um, so this tutorial, this simple tutorial, pretty much teaches you how you can pass an entire array as a parameter and then on the receiving end you can format it and display it however you wish. Thank you for watching the tutorial.